Okay, last property. We have property number five of the Laplace transform. If you have this equation, we wherein you will have your f of t divided by the t, you will use this formula, which is the integral of the f of u du, wherein the limit is s to infinity. Tapos the f of u will be the Laplace transform of the f of t. You must satisfy the equation that you have f of t divided by the t. Then, for example, you have the sine of t over t. So, you will have your f of t as the sine of t. Then, you need to get the Laplace transform of your f of t. But instead of using s, you will use u. So, Getting the plus of sine of t, you will have the f of u. You will have a over s squared plus a squared. So you will have 1 over s squared. So instead of using s, you will use u. That's u squared plus 1. Then following your formula, you will now have the integral of 1 over u squared plus 1. D, the limits is from S to infinity. In this case, this is in the form of our time. So the integral of D over U squared plus 1 is R tan of U. So you will have your R tan of U limits is from S to infinity. So higher limits minus the lower limits, you will have your arctan of infinity minus the arctan of S. But evaluating this, the arctan of infinity is equivalent to pi over 2. Galing siya sa tangent of 90 wherein this is equal to infinity. So you will have to do our time of both sides. So that's our time of infinity that is 90 degrees. But since 90 degrees is outside the trigonometric function, this is equivalent to pi over 2. So this is pi over 2 minus our time of s. Now this is your f of s or the answer for the Laplace of sine t over t. The next example is the hyperbolic sine of 2t over t. I love you. Your f of t here is hyperbolic sine of 2t. Now your f of u is 2 over s squared minus a squared which is s squared minus 4, then replace s by u. Then you will have the integral of 2 over u squared minus 4 du from s to infinity. So you will have to take the integral of this. You will have to use partial fraction that is 2 over u squared minus 4 equivalent to a over u plus 2 plus b over u minus 2. Then getting the value of a and b, you will have to multiply the equation by u plus 2 and u minus 2. You will now have 2 equals a multiplied to u minus 2 plus b multiplied to u plus 2. Then you will get the value of a and b using the degree. The first degree and the constant. You will have 0 equals a plus b. Then this will be 2 equals negative 2a plus 2b. In this equation, you will get a equals negative b, then substitute to this, 
we will now have 2 equals negative 2 of negative b plus 2b. This will be positive 2b plus 2b. We will have 4b. Therefore, b is 1 half. Then apply to this one, you will have a equals negative 1 half. Your equation now is the integral of negative 1 half over u plus 2 plus 1 half of u minus 2 du that is from s to infinity. First, we will have negative 1 half ln of u plus 2. Then second term is plus 1 half of ln of u minus 2. Simplifying this, you will have negative 1 half ln of u my, uh, u plus 2. Then, kapag nilabas mo sa negative 1 half, this will be negative. So, over u minus 2. Limits is from s to infinity. Applying the limits, you will now have negative 1 half ln of infinity plus 2 over infinity minus 2. Minus the negative 1 half of ln of s plus 2 over s minus 2. This must be evaluated using 1 over infinity over 1 over infinity. <clears throat> when we multiply the power, this will be infinity over infinity, this will be 1. Then 2 over infinity, that is 0. Infinity over infinity is 1, then 2 over infinity is 0. This will be 1 over 1, then ln of 1 is 0. Then multiplying this for the final answer, that is positive 1 half, then ln of s plus 2 over s minus 2.